doesn't really even help if we can pay attention, if we can't integrate and utilize what we're paying attention to and learn from it and apply it and do that while we're in the throes of solving a problem in our life where there's other things going on. We need integrated simultaneous function. That's what this course is, is focused on, developing that from the ground up. Again, from the, the first course, uh, the 101 course on awareness. So we want to bring that awareness. This is not a separate course. This builds on awareness. We need awareness. Awareness is the ground, the, fig the, 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 the ground upon which we build the f consciousness of figure, the central awareness of what we're attending to. Or you maybe are looking at me and I can say, attend to, and we used this in the first course, but now we're going to make it explicit in your consciousness and your awareness, attend to the periphery while still we're dividing attention now, aren't we? You're looking at me, you're seeing me, you're processing what I'm saying, what you're seeing, and you're thinking now also about the space around you, the, the rest of this image on the screen, the room beyond that that you're in, the space behind you, the space inside your body, the surface where your f f hands and feet are, are f sensing touch or feeling the floor, uh, feeling the clothes on, on your skin. So in that context, just take a moment and notice your process of attention within the aware the field of awareness, the figure, the things that draw draw your attention, the things, the gestalt of a figure upon that ground, of the thingness, the what. What is it? You see me, you see the screen behind me, you see the books to, to my side. And notice how your attention can shift from one to another. It can shift from central detail to peripheral awareness. These are attentional mechanisms. Feel this almost like it's a muscle inside your mind. It's not a physical muscle, although it certainly expresses, it, it is a subtle movement of the physical muscles, especially of the eye. The six extraocular muscles around the eyes, the intraocular ciliary muscle that regulates focus, which is going to be our next course. How we focus. But attention and focus are very closely related in terms of the development of the spirit body. They're both in that central sphere of the heart chakra, this heart sphere, uh, the heart where in Oriental medicine we say the Shen, the spirit, dwells. Okay, we have attention and focus in that realm. Attention at the top of the vortex, receiving, receiving the, the dark energy of consciousness receiving grace, if you will. And then our sensation in the emotional body is of joy. When we're receiving grace, we feel joy. Right? Does that make sense? Can you feel that? As you look and see, and this, notice the difference between our words. Looking is attention. Seeing is awareness. They're not the same. And yet, they are related. So become aware of that interplay, that interface of looking and seeing. Sometimes when we look too hard, when we pay too much attention, we might say, pay attention. And that stress of paying attention might be just the thing that restricts our field of seeing so that our performance might actually drop when we put pressure on performance of attention. Pay attention. Right? The, the, the better approach, the more effective approach, rather than commanding to pay attention, is asking about attention, inquiring. When we ask a question, the, you know, the child or the person that, that we're asking the question of, what do they need to do to process that? They have to ask the question of themselves. And when we ask a question, you know, it's like seek and you'll find. When, we ask, when you ask the question, where's my attention now? Did it drift? You know, maybe my, my voice is just going along and you know and your mind is attending to oh i need to do uh this or that today oh what is that sound over there you know what what else are you thinking about what else are you intending to do today that might be on your mind what's your vision of 
uh, your purpose in taking this course. Uh, who are you thinking about? Other people, you know, maybe a relative, a child, someone who suffers from attention deficit or other attentional issues and, and constraints and problems. <clears throat> so uh, that's a bit to start with. Think about attention and its relationship, how it builds on awareness. The ground of awareness and the, the figure, the central, more central, typically central figure of form, of identity, when we look while we're seeing. We want to keep seeing and look softly. We'll see you in the next one.